In this video, we're going to talk about Ripple XRP and give some price predictions for the future. Disclaimer. Also, if you want to have a lifetime 10% discount on all commission fees on Binance, then click in the link in the description. First, let's focus on how much XRP former Ripple CTO has left after another dumping spree. There are a number of investors who happen to get into cryptocurrency at a very early time during the crypto economy's history. Jed McCaleb is incredibly wealthy thanks to this early investment into the digital asset space, specifically when he co-founded the company, Ripple. The former CTO yet again has moved another significant amount of XRP according to data from XRP Scan. Jed received reimbursement of 9 billion XRP coins for helping to create the company and his role as the first CTO. After having seen tremendous growth at the start of the month, XRP's price saw a trend reversal and the coin has been on a downtrend since April 18th. Renewed bullish momentum seems to have entered the XRP market and a trend reversal was seen in the charts, enabling the coin to post steady gains in the past 24 hours. At the time of writing, XRP was trading at $1.43 and had a market capitalization of over $60 billion. While the short-term price movement looks promising, the past week saw XRP lose close to 23% of its valuation. According to data from XRP Scan, over the past 10 days, co-founder of Ripple, Jed McCaleb, dumped 202 million XRP from his Taco Stan wallet, which was named and activated when McCaleb was still working with Ripple. The aforementioned transactions mainly consisted of over 2 million XRP, over 6 transactions, and 3 transfers of over 1.8 million XRP. This amounted to $231,899,940 at the time of making the video. The remaining balance in Jed's wallets amounted to over 2 billion XRP. XRP enthusiast and blockchain researcher Leonidas, Agiloizo monitored Michaelov's previous XRP sales and had tweeted about the dumps regularly on various occasions. What was distinctive to the researcher was Michaelov's sales, which are happening in smaller amounts. As he stated in his tweet, Michaelov is selling 22.6 million XRP on a daily basis rather than 40 plus million. On the contrary, he remained critical of the ex-Ripple CTO's holdings and further added, McCaleb's XRP riches may dry up by August or September of this year. Also, I want to mention some analysis on why Ripple's XRP doom could turn out to be a boom for Stellar's XLM. It is sometimes easy to forget how competitive the cryptocurrency market is, especially when a lot of assets are seemingly thriving all at once. However, time and time again, we are reminded of how increasingly possible it is for even the largest cryptocurrencies to be kicked off the market and replaced with another. The market is so cutthroat that Viktor Arganov, a senior analyst at international fintech Exanti, has examined the state of Ripple's legal battle with the SEC and concluded that the downfall of Ripple XRP may trigger a ride of Stellar XLM. Can Stellar XLM replace Ripple XRP? Possibly. By market capitalization, Stellar XLM is the 14th most valuable cryptocurrency, while its biggest rival, per Argonov's analysis, is the 4th most valued digital currency, XRP. Stellar XLM would need to unseat some of the best performing cryptocurrencies, which include some of DeFi's top gainers, to attempt to snatch this spot from XRP. But there's an easy way out. According to the analyst inspections, XLM may not need to ruffle that many feathers if Ripple were to be swept out of the market as a result of legal battles the Ripple team is facing. The reason is simple. Ripple XRP and Stellar XLM share some similarities and functions that could easily make it attractive as an alternative to XRP. More significantly, XLM is not associated with a private company in the way that XRP is intertwined with Ripple Labs. This easily gives XLM a massive edge over its rival as investors no longer have to worry about any future legal wars that could be sprung up as a result of its affiliation with the third party that policymakers are likely to poke into. The collapse of the Ripple system, in turn, is likely to increase investor interest in a similar decentralized project, Stellar, with the XLM token, Arganov reckons in his analysis. He expanded on his point by explaining why he considers Stellar XLM more flexible for investors. This payment system duplicates the function of Ripple but is not tied to a private company and therefore it is perhaps better protected from prosecution, he added. Fate of XRP in the hands of the SEC and investors While Ripple awaits the furtherance of the legal battle in August and hopes for fair judgment, following the arrival of the new SEC chairman, it is objectively true that XRP is one of the riskiest assets on the market. 
Despite thriving and accumulating for a decent percentage in gains since the legal tussle with the SEC ensued, investors are at risk of seeing a battering if the court rules against the company trading XRP tokens in the future. Ripple may also be fined or even required to cease doing business in the United States. Any of these results could put a bigger strain on the XRP's performance, and if investors are quick to collectively conclude that Stellar XLM is a fitting replacement for XRP, then Argonov's assertions might not be that far-fetched at all. Alright, so now let's get to the price prediction. XRP's price quickly overcame the April downtrend with an explosive 30% rally yesterday, but the follow-through today has slowly faded. Price compression related to yesterday's gain will contain additional gains in the short term, but new developments in the SEC case could override the chart technicals at any time. XRP price validation comes with higher volume totals. The MVRV metric shows the average profit to loss of all coins currently according to the current price. More specifically, MV stands for the market value and describes the market capitalization. The second component is RV, which stands for realized value. Higher MVRV 30-day values indicate that more people are willing to sell and take profits, and lower values mean that most people will be realizing losses if they sell all their holdings. This metric tends to rise during strong and long bull runs and decreases during bear markets. The rationale is that during solid bull runs, the long-term holders determine when the bull run will end by selling their positions. During bear markets, the long-term holders are at a loss on average, and the short-term holders manage to realize profits. The current rating is 27.35%, up from the negative 2.3% on April 24th through the 25th. The metric did not reach the lows of February at a negative 11.4%, but it highlighted that the decline had put Ripple in undervalued territory. At the current reading, the cross-border remittances token is far from overvalued conditions that match the November 2020 high, the January high, or the high this month, hinting at more upside for XRP's price moving forward. Last week, Ripple closed down 26.41%, the largest weekly loss since the SEC charge crash in December 2020 of 49%. It yielded a total decline of 55% for the international statement token from the April high. XRP's price responded with a 30% gain yesterday, but today's follow-through has faded quickly at the 50% retracement of the April decline. More resistance can be expected at the 61.8 retracement at $1.55 and the 78.6 retracement at $1.73. The prominent levels in the crosshairs are $2 and the 61.8 retracement of the 2018-2020 bear market at $2.08. The path for Ripple is more complicated than most cryptocurrencies at the moment, with the overhang of the SEC case against key executives regularly headlining media reports. A positive outlook will remain the best approach unless the descending trendline from the April high at $1.15 fails. After that, the big $1 is the final arbitrator over whether XRP's price falls to $0.80 cents or not. And by the way, if you were wondering, where do you buy XRP? You can follow the links in the description and additionally get extra discounts. But note that I'm not forcing you to invest in this project. It's 100% your personal decision. Don't forget to check out more videos on this channel. Thanks for watching.